Hello, today I'm going to show you how to root the Kindle Fire 1 running update 6.3.3 that came out a few weeks ago. Um, it was not rootable with the, um, the old root methods, um, including the one with the uh, Kindle Fire utility. Um, I did find that uh, safe root works, um, and that is posted on XDA developers um, in the uh, Galaxy 4, uh, Verizon Samsung Galaxy 4 um, section, um, posted by K1MU uh, back in December. Uh, I just need to scroll down to the attached file, download the SafeRoot zip. Um, you can just move that to your desktop, and it'll just be a zip file like this. Um, go ahead and right click on it then extract all um, the desktop's fine safe for it um, extract and uh, these are the files that um, may be created um, it'll just be this folder here safe for it folder uh, let's see we'll go back here um, go to safe for it uh, instructions um, first you want to install the drivers says USB drivers you want to install drivers um, specifically for the Kindle Fire um, you can find that at this thread here how to Amazon Kindle Fire sign driver for Windows XP Vista 788.1 um, go ahead and download this zip file and then un unzip it and run the uh, Kindle drivers exact file um, and then I re would reboot your PC and then you want to go to your computer um, you go to control panel uh, hardware sound device manager and see the Kindle Fire is listed here it also may be listed as an Android device or Android phone up here uh, you just want to double click on it and make sure it says ADB interface says that you should be good to go okay so we'll close that go back uh, safe root instructions okay you want to enable USB debugging uh, that is not an option on the Kindle Fire um, but we will go to the Kindle Fire open this up uh, go ahead and disconnect so we can um, go to apps I'll show you that uh, this is just stock there's no uh, super user, super su um, installed. Uh, I'm going to go to more and uh, go to device. And you can see here it says current sys um, system version is 6.3.3. Um, then you want to go to allow ins installation of applications. Uh, you want to go ahead and check that on. Um, and it says um, there's a warning just go ahead and click OK and then you go back home um, okay now you unzip the safe root zip um, we're gonna go ahead and try to um, click on the install bat and root the Kindle so cl uh, close that go to your safe root folder select install bat and uh, Execute it. Okay, this is. Um, do you want to install BusyBox on your device? We want to click yes. Y for yes. Um, plug in your phone and press any key to continue. All right, your phone is detected and ready for rooting. Sending files to your device. Uh, we got. Um, see, it popped up a super user here already. Um, and it's just uh, completing the, the the rooting process. Um, it recognized it as Blaze, which is the Kindle Fire, and um, Gingerbread, which is the Android version that is is running. Doesn't take much longer. All right. Um, getting closer. Okay, 
um, it's trying to disable a feature on some Android devices that recognizes that it's uh, rooted. Um, I'm not sure if that actually works with the Kindle Fire. It doesn't really matter. It still roots the uh, device. It's rebooting. Um, and now it's waiting for the Kindle Fire to finish um, um, booting up. Um, it did say um, succeeded in getting root. Um, and uh, Still waiting for it to boot. Okay, we want to swipe it, um, and we want to open the super user, close the um, PC connection, open super user. Um, we can go ahead and um, no thanks. You, this is just asking if you want to uh, stay up to date um, with um, on Twitter, or Google Plus. Uh, we don't need to do that right now. Um, just make sure that um, it doesn't want to do an update. It doesn't appear to. Um, it's, uh, enable super users checked. Uh, we author authorization is checked, um, show notifications, um, that should be all good. Um, now we can just go press any key to continue, um, and we can go ahead and um, press any key to continue again, it didn't want to update, okay now we got our super user pop up, you want to select grant access to the ADB shell, um, and it um, should have said uh, allowed uh, ADB permissions and it's trying to um, install BusyBox. Um, go and press a key to continue. Should reboot the device. Maybe not. Um, okay, so now the device should be rooted. We have um, super user. Um, now, if you want to continue to um, and uh, to uh, install Google Apps, um, I would uh, go to Kindle Fire Utility um, XDA Developers uh, version 0 0.9.9 and uh, scroll down to Downloads and go ahead and download the file. Um, you can go ahead and place that on your desktop again um, and you just want to unzip that, extract all um, all right, and now I'm going to go ahead and click the run bat and go ahead and allow that. And most of these functions aren't going to work. Um, the root with super user doesn't work. Um, install latest twerp and uh, uh, recovery and the fire 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 doesn't work um, but I believe the the uh, extra six um, option six to install um, you want to and then select um, one to install Google Apps and go launcher um, I'm going to click one um, it's going to go ahead and download um, Google Apps to a folder and then it's going to to try to um, install those on the device, the Kindle Fire. Still downloading. Download success. Um, and uh, extracted them, 
that, that was okay. Now it is um, it pushed uh, the frame Google Frameworks uh, success Go Launcher success. And we see the Go Launcher um, icon popped up on the uh, home page there. Okay, now it's um, pushing a version of Facebook, which isn't necessary because Facebook was um, it came with this version, but it's okay. It won't hurt anything. Uh, it's installing Google Voice. Success. We got uh, Google Voice icon popped up. Now it's installing Google Plus. And we have the Google Plus icon popped up. Uh, now it's uh, it installed uh, Sync settings and Calendar. Uh, those all appear to be successful. It's granting super user permissions to Google Shell or the ADB Shell. Um, so it's uh, finishing. It's going to go ahead and reboot now. And uh, reboot, we should have all our, our um, apps that we want. Um, you're going to need to sign in to Google Plus. Um, last time I did this, um, I had to open the um, Go Launcher to get to the Google Play because it didn't show up on the. Um, the stock um, Kindle Fire um, launcher, um, and then I, uh, I signed into Google. The market um, has the old market uh, app, but but it gets updated um, once you sign in to the uh, the new Google Play. Um, go ahead and uh, disconnect um, from there. From the uh, come on, disconnect. Um, all right, we'll open launcher and go to apps. Anyway, so you got calendar, sync settings, Google Plus, voice, go launcher, super user. Um, and uh, so if we go ahead and tap home, exact, uh, go launcher, um, exact. Should open, and then we need to um, you just scroll through the um, the little settings there. Are they um, showing you how it works? Um, and then you click on the apps folder. I guess you didn't have to go back home, and uh, that's there. Market. Um, you have to add um, add a an account in order to sign into um, the uh, Google Market. Um, Go ahead and click next. Um, I'm going to go ahead and sign in. I'll pot. Okay, I signed in. Uh, go ahead and accept um, the agreement uh, for Google Play services. If you don't, it won't work. Now, um, this currently says um, market. Um, it's probably updating, um, downloading a uh, the new Google Play um, in the background. Um, let's see, we can go ahead and. Um, Click uh, any key on our, on our um, Kindle Fire utility, um, and you can go ahead and close that. We no longer need that. Um, um, go ahead and um, the market closed. That probably means that the Google Play was um, downloaded. It probably just wants to try to reinstall that or install it. Yeah, change the Google Play. Need to um, accept that again. Okay, now it says we got updates. Um, Facebook, Super User, Go Launcher. Um, let's Google Play, and it looks like um, Amazon has updates too for those, some of those. Um, even Super Sue. Um, we can go ahead and update Super Sue. Check update. Um, accept. Um, update uh, um, apps automatically. Not now. You can allow that if you like. I don't always have Wi-Fi on. <laughs>